once again and this is the main show the main cbc podcast if you're tuning in on youtube or wherever you might be thank you for stopping by of course you guys can follow us everywhere else we do this um itunes soundcloud twitch when we record it live every week and of course um if you guys want to follow us everywhere just google comic book cast and uh you'll find everything we do there now of course i am your host armin and i am here with mitch what's up you can find me at mitch692 and also tristan Hey, you can catch me at Is J Chance, and I still have to remember that because I want to say <laughs> what is like a Joe Baker for some reason. It's been burned into your head. You remember it. And, also, uh, this is the thing I'm going to do quickly. Uh, Timestamps in the description. If you haven't got time to listen to the entire thing, you can just pick the topic you want. Yep. Yeah, that's true. That is oh, true. Oh, wait, so like, it's into videos, you can do it either one. <laughs> exactly, because people are like, oh, I don't listen to the entire podcast, but I only like this two topics out of five. I'm like, well, you just, never mind, Just you'll get them in the week. It's, it's what, what annoys me the most, you get the comments like, I'm not listening to videos, someone tell me. It's like, we're telling you right in the video. <laughs> yeah, well, it's either, it's either that or it's like, I'm not going to listen to this video, but I subscribed and liked, so people tell me what happened in the video. Yeah, it's just like, um, thanks for yeah. the sub, I suppose. <laughs> that works it, it works with yeah us. it's like yeah i think it was the last podcast that we posted and one of the comments was exactly that i liked and i liked and subscribed but i don't want to listen to the video so it's someone tell me what happened <laughs> so i'm telling you exactly the what point happened of the video the cast <laughs> you're gonna waste more time not oh that's how that's how it goes though some people i guess you know so uh, as always, um, thank you for everybody that's listening to this and uh, follow us on everything um, just to kind of uh, get stuff out of the way. Yes, there is four topics this week. Uh, we've talked about this before. Sometimes you just have lighter weeks, so mm -hmm. there's not as much news to talk about. But hopefully these topics will be able to cover everything uh, you guys need covered for you, which means let's get into topic so, number one. Supergirl. She has a moderately successful show on the CW. And now Supergirl is moving forward with a movie that's in development for DC. Now, of course, this joins about, give or take, 45 other projects in development. So At least. Yeah. Um, I don't, this is interesting because I, I see what they're doing here. I understand what they're doing here. It makes sense. You know, Supergirl's popular. Her popularity certainly has exploded because of the TV show. Yep. And it's another female to star in a movie to push that forward. That's all great and whatnot, but it seems very out of left field. And it's like, hey, how about another Superman movie that people have been clamoring for? I say this to me just gives credence to those rumors that they're not getting along with the negotiations of the contract. Yep, same. But that whole mm -hmm. do a Superman movie, like your choice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. just know. for me, it's just weird to how they say oh, we're gonna do a Supergirl movie and we've yet to have like a true sequel to a superman movie yeah it's why like what what is the choice there that's like my main big argument it's like i don't get how you move forward with this especially that supergirl i mean inherently if I mean, you're gonna involve her you need superman involved right yeah 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 i'm like like are they trying to like move away from superman right now and like focus on Shazam and Supergirl, if, if if that's if that can work. I was gonna say they're not moving that far away from Superman with Supergirl. Yeah. But what I find interesting is um you know the whole prequel comic thing that said she was in the pod uh -huh. in Max. Mm -hmm. And anyway, that was done by like Jeff Johns and Snyder had his credit on there as well. Yep. Snyder's come out and said that wasn't her in there. It's just like mm -hmm. what you, what what's going on? What are you doing? Like <laughs> so so is she not does she not exist yet in this or I, I no, think I, this I don't... Is, again this is the uh how do I call this? The Snyder problem where he's gone back and said various things. Oh, that's not Lex Luthor, that's Lex Jr. That's not Doomsday, that's Doomsday. It's like, so he's oh, trying to wreck kind of things? Yeah, I think we're in that same situation with Supergirl, honestly, and I mean I'll take a Supergirl movie. I think it can work. I think the show has had some pretty decent episodes, some way better than most of the stuff DC's done in live action TV, some far more terrible, but it's one of these things where it's like, why is this going to take precedent over a Superman movie? It's my biggest argument. Like there is no need for that. And if I wanted a Supergirl movie, I would want it to spin off from a man of steel too. Like, you know, have her in there and have that spin off. And it's like, well, if that's not the way you're doing it. Then, 
What are you doing? I'm going to say, like, I've seen some people say maybe it's a setup for Man of Steel 2. And it's like, well, shouldn't Man of Steel 2 be the setup for the Supergirl movie? Yeah. <laughs> like, what what logical sense does that make? Like, right. it, it doesn't. But... It's, w, it's Warner Brothers, so. Yeah. It is Warner Brothers. But then again, this might not even get made if the government have their way because the AT&T thing was apparently wrong. So. Yeah. I mean, they might have to, like, put everything on hold for a while. But... Yeah, like, what happened with that anyway? Well, the they got it all approved. The takeover <laughs> has already happened. You know, they're not Time Warner now, they're Warner Media who own Warner Brothers. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, but now they're saying that it was wrong to approve it. So. <laughs> If it goes any further, they're going to have to undo everything and then find someone else to buy them. Well, that's mm. the thing. Like, um, Warner Brothers finds themselves in a weird situation. I've talked about this in a video because the media landscape is changing forever. And I understand Time Warner. They're not doing their own streaming service or anything because they're like, yeah, but we offer cable. We offer TV in a package. But other companies, even you know, Comcast Universal, has seen the trend of how the industry is changing and they realize streaming is the future like yeah. you know yeah, like they're gonna find themselves in a weird position if they don't keep up with everybody else yeah because I mean, like companies all over do dabble in that stuff to see if it is viable they mm -hmm. don't just ignore it all together yep and <sighs> but yeah it's i don't know it's a weird one like, apparently as well some people are saying it could be based on uh being super i think that's the story what it's called What's that? I've never read too much. Uh, it's, I think it's like one of like the most loved Supergirl stories. I don't know. I've never read Supergirl. I just yeah. seen that name be thrown around. Okay, that's. But, I suppose that's fair. I mean, mm. it is what it is, if you will. Um, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's the weirdness of it to me is they keep announcing more and more movies in development, but nothing is officially moving forward yet. And we're gonna talk about some stuff that's apparently moving forward later on in the show but you're fi you're finding yourself and you're finding all your fans in this one thing where we're looking at what you've laid out but suddenly every few months we're hearing that something is scrapped and something else isn't you know and something's moving forward something's not and the only thing that's come out of all of this is the fact that joker is moving forward i'm like that's the one thing that everybody yeah. thought was like yeah. the biggest no they're not doing that you can't be that stupid oh okay they are gonna do that so it's mm. like I, I think they're shooting for a hard R as well for that. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think San Diego Comic Con next year is going to be the real show for DC. Like after yeah, you know yeah. the dust that settled from Aquaman and from Shazam, if those are new viable franchises that have succeeded, they're already going to be in production of some other movies. You know, Joker will be right around the corner from release. Then we're going to know everything. If like if Supergirl happens, I'm assuming we'll know by then. But I think this is just them being a cook. We have a script in the works. Man of Steel 2, um, I don't know. Henry Cavill's yeah. probably going to be back in the new Mission Impossible, so I don't know. Probably not, though, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Also, it's... like, like just, just to throw it out there, they got the um, 22 Jump Street writer to pen the script. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Oren Uziel or something like that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I probably butchered the shit out of that name, but <laughs> that's his name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it, you know, it's... I like 22 Jump Street, so I, it, if it ever happens... No. I've never seen the movie, so I can't comment on them. Oh, really? So, nope. I, I just never weird. liked Channing Tatum at, like, much at the time. Uh, that's like, fair. Eh, you know? That's fair. But, he, he kind of works in those movies. Like, yeah, that's just... what I've heard. I'll, I'll watch them at some point. If Supergirl moves forward with it, I'll watch it just to kind of understand what they're going for, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, I guess that'll end our Supergirl and DC talk for this oh. topic. How about that Sony giving us all the franchises we want, like Craven the Hunter? Why? <laughs> Just why? I mean, because everyone on the internet has been joking, like, at this point, Sony's just being petty. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're, they're being petty for, like, years now. But... <laughs> so, here's how the story goes with, Bla like, uh, the whole Black Panther Craven thing, which people might recall. They wanted to have Craven in some way, shape, or form appear in Black Panther to set him up for down the road. Sony and Marvel were like, no, Sony has plans for that. And then we were like, okay, maybe we're going to do Craven's Last Hunt or something, build up to that. No, because we're going to get the Craven origin story that can't build up to Craven the Hunter. Which, the interesting report I've seen recently is that 
they're gonna make Venom the Spider-Man of this whole Venom verse. So he's gonna be more right. like a hero, and he's gonna take on all these other villains that are building up their own movies. I'm like, oh, you missed the entire point of all this. I mean, so, like, so they're wouldn't... doing the, they're making him the Agent Venom of the universe, yeah. not the Spider-Man, because that doesn't really work. But I mean, because it's not it's Lethal Protector Venom right now, so I don't know if like they're gonna do if they're gonna do a sequel, they're gonna turn him into like Agent Venom. I mean, even Lethal Protector Venom still needs Spider-Man. He was in half that series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, everyone going, oh, it's that Lethal Protector is like, yeah, that had Spider-Man in it. Yeah, because, like, Can't I really... think, yeah, because I think, like, some people are saying, like, if it, if Craven the Hunter was in the MCU, that they could have tied him into, uh, they could have tied Black Panther to Spider-Man if they, uh, if they introduced right. Craven into, yeah. like, say, like, Black Panther 2. Also, like, does this kind of show why we're getting Chameleon instead of Craven in Far From Home? I think so. I think now it's all but confirmed. It's like, yeah, yeah. that's going to be Chameleon. <laughs> it's like, let's cast a guy that looks perfect for Craven. Uh -huh. He's going to be his brother, though. Well, right. It's one of these things that I've been like looking at, and the more I talk to people, they're like, okay, so they're doing Venom without Spider-Man, and they're doing Lethal Protector without Spider-Man, which had Spider-Man as a basis of that story, which people just seem to ignore. But then you go to Craven, and you're looking at Craven. You're like, okay, so you do one movie to build up his origin, and then you got to do Craven's biggest hunt. You know, the the great hunt he goes on to New York or whatever city he's going to go to. So now you don't have Spider-Man. You're going to replace that with Venom. I see what they're doing here, but what yeah, they're doing yeah. here is stupid. Like mm. that's my I mean, argument. Here's, here's the thing: Craven hunting Venom, not a bad idea. No, not at all. I, I, I quite like it. It works for a Venom solo movie. They, everything kind of Spider-Man at this point. Uh, you can't have a Spidey universe without the Spidey <laughs> if they, Well, they're going to try to replace them with Venom. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's just like, why? Like, I, I get it. They need a franchise because they're like circling the putt at this point. But Yeah, it's like, like all we got is Jumanji. We need something else. Uh, I don't know. It's... I, who would even want to see a solo? Like, what can you do for a solo Craven movie? Um, uh, or are you just going to have him hunting Venom and we're going to go straight for the last time? Okay, so here's my prediction. Because this is this is Sony, right? They're dumb. Like, they're really dumb. So they're going to be like, okay, so Craven hunts animals. Who do we have that are animals? Okay, so we got the lizard. We got the oh, rhino. No. Okay, so he's going to go after them. But, you know, they're man, like, spliced gene type of bullcrap, right? Because that's already what they're doing with the Venom symbiote. It's genetic splicing. So that's yep. got to be the basis of the entire universe. So we're circling back to the amazing Spider-Man bullcrap of genetically yep. enhanced every single thing. And guaranteed we're going to do that. Craven will probably hunt Morbius or something. I mean... Uh, yeah, I forgot, about Morbius. I forgot about Morbius. Yeah, yeah I did yeah. too. I was like, yeah. maybe he hunt Morbius? Yeah. Oh, and I really... I want Morbius, like, I would actually enjoy a Morbius movie, I think, because I think there's enough that the character doesn't need any of the other Marvel stuff to work, because, hey, it's just a vampire, okay, we can make that. Yeah, happen. but I, I don't think he warrants it. No, no, he doesn't, so... Like, you, you could have enough to make it, fine, but do you need it in the grand scheme of things? I don't know, really. Like, I don't think so. You can also, like, throw a blade in there, too, so... I mean, yeah, you know, you just, like, you could have had Morbius in a Blade movie, but... That well, I mean, if they want to play ball with the smart people, but... Yeah. Uh, no, chat. They, these movies should not be part of the MCU. Let's, let's, let's not even... No, <laughs> no. The, the only... characters should be. These movies, no. No, 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 no. Only if they were... If these movies... Like, let's say Venom comes out, right? And for some unbeknownst reason to us, the movie ends up getting like an 80-plus on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's really solid. And Sony's like, hey, Marvel, you want to play ball now? We'll put these movies in as long as you help us out with them again. I'd be all down for making these movies part of continuity. Because then it's like, if you're going to do a Craven build-up movie for a lower budget that inevitably has Craven taking on Spider-Man and Spider-Man 3 or something, I'm all down for that. But ugh, this is Sony. Their track record is like, put out two good movies, crap out six awful pieces of crap. So, like, you know... I, I'm so conflicted. Mm. I mean, thank God Spider-Man's got like one of the biggest rogues gallery in comics. Yeah, <laughs> he's the best Marvel yeah. rogues gallery, really. So it's yeah. like, well, you can you know. gold mine this. Yeah, it's just like, oh great, so the MCU Spider-Man's got to fight all of that, the D and Z listers of his rogues gallery. <laughs> it's like, like, 
No, that's a bad thing because I don't think he's got I mean, any well, particularly I mean, bad like, feeling. Yeah, I mean, like on the opposite end, you could say, "Oh, I know you guys wanted Venom, but listen, how about a walking, talking Stegosaurus?" <laughs> See, just I mean, it could work. And, yeah, and I mean, like it, <laughs> and it just wants nothing but to turn people into dinosaurs. Uh, but because everyone's going to call you out, it's a pterodactyl, not a Stegosaurus. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Let's get it. It's a I'm flyer. A, like, I'm also one of those people that, like, I would love to see Black Cat as a film, but does the character really, like, I think Black Cat could no. work in her own movie. Like, just make her some sort of vigilante that's in her own universe. I think that could work fine, but tying it into something else, I'm just like, it's not really needed. Like, she's a character that can work without Spider-Man to a big degree, kind of like Silver Sable can, but, like, the, just the way they were trying to base all these movies, I'm just like, nothing you're telling me seems to want to work with anything else and like no uh, hmm. also this it's a re- like because you know they're building up to maximum carnage like you can Ooh. just feed it like oh, no, no. you can feed it you can smell it you can taste it, it? Ooh, yeah. it i don't like, want to taste that <laughs> like a random bunch of movies to try and have like your quote avengers moment like oh, venom dude. raven morbius silver and black dude. to fight well, what the fuck? Why? Do you think they're that stupid that they're going to call... You know, okay, now it's Sony. I could totally see being like, <laughs> Maximum Carnage the movie. Oh my god, the Edge Wards yeah. are going to eat that up so and bad. And then you're going to get Carnage USA and all that crap. Oh, oh. You love Carnage USA. I am a... Oh, I love that series. I mean, I like Carnage USA. Fun fact, it's got Crack and Dagger in it, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, I liked it. But, um, <sighs> yeah, you know, you know they're just building up to that. And it's just yeah. like... But I keep I, like I keep saying, if you need to shove Spider-Man into somehow, just bring back Garfield and make it fight a, the Amazing Verse because you're gonna get a bunch <laughs> yeah. of those stands for that universe all to come back. To yeah, that. Man, that'd be so awkward though. It would. <laughs> so no, now, which one is the actual Spider-Man? <laughs> it can work though. It could work. I mean, but, it would. Know. It's like there's that. What is it? That weird theory rumor that. That Andrew Garfield's gonna come back as Spider Man and he's gonna be like super edgy and like and wanna kill Venom. Ooh. Ooh. I haven't heard that one. I have. It's really bad because like it's been spreading around. Uh, I think it was a Reddit and Facebook group pages. I've been seeing that and it's like been reposted a lot. And I'm like, oof. No. <laughs> and like people are like, is it real? And you go, yeah. I'm like, no. I mean, it's a real rumor, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not... it's not till the movie comes out, and then I guess we find out how they go forward with it. But yeah. I guess that's going to be it for our Spider Verse talk. Now on to greener pastures. <laughs> yeah, Black Mask. It's going to be the villain of the Birds of Prey movie, which apparently is going to start shooting now. Uh, by look of it, officially in January. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, this also, is coming uh, out of nowhere. Uh, bye bye Gotham City Sirens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, um, didn't Birds of Prey have a, have a TV series before too? Yeah, yeah, like early two thousands was the it? WB. Yeah, <laughs> so I, like I was looking at some old comics and I, I think I remember a, uh, an ad for them in one of them. I watched that series when it aired. It was bad. <laughs> See, every time I hear Birds of Prey, I can't help but think of that song they did in that animated movie, the Bruce oh. Tim one, <laughs> where they make fun of Aquaman and his little dick. It's just like, why? <laughs> Why is this a thing? But, like, oh, yeah. This whole thing is like, okay, so you got Black Mask in it. Perfect. I've always wanted to see that <laughs> villain done in live action. If you can make him like he was in Arkham Origins, I will love you even more because they got him perfect in that up until they, you know, sideline him for another Joker story, which was stupid. <laughs> but, you know, that, that is Wait, what I, th- I, thought he, I thought he got killed by uh, Jason Todd in the DLC pack. I don't even remember, honestly. <laughs> It's been too long, but I think, I think that's I think that's the reason why it was revealed to be Joker again because Black Mask died by Jason uh, Todd for some reason. Uh, so, you have Black Mask, good. The Birds of Prey apparently are going to include Harley Quinn as part of the team. So, yep. Um, I'll say from what I've heard, she's a connection to like the underground, or and okay. all that. That's why she's there. So it's a legitimate reason. I can yeah, I can be fine with that. Um, I can't think who the other lineup is. Wasn't it like Cassandra Kane and Huntress or something? Yep. Some yeah. Like, Cassandra I know that... Kane is going to be like the one they find. that's like the new addition to this team they're forming. So yeah. 
It's... I mean, it, it sounds like, you know, it's at least it's a villain. It, they kind of learnt from Suicide Squad. It's like, let's actually have a villain that's legitimate for this team. Yeah. It's like, oh, let's just send in that like, fucking Harley Quinn against a, a sorcerer. It's like, that doesn't make sense. But mm -hmm. It's, I mean, I like what I'm hearing so far. And it definitely seems that all these DC movies are definitely, like, everything that's in production is going to take a much cheaper route which i'm okay with that because of the nature of the stories mm. and the characters you're using but this to me seems like warner brothers is in that place where like look aquaman is facing stiff competition so that movie i think they know is going to underperform shazam they have no idea on and they're just like tossing that out there and then after that they're like well joker's going to make money because it's only a 50 million dollar budget but all these other movies are like we can't sink another 200 mil into this like eh. I would say this is like what a fifty mil, fifty eighty mil yeah, budget movie, of it. if that. But, but I don't know. I think it's got potential to be like decent. But yeah, I mean, do we know who's even working on it yet? There, I mean, there, I've seen a couple names, but nothing that anybody's like, yeah, this is what we're saying. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just. It seems I'm to be coming out of nowhere, like almost an underground type of thing. It's like, oh, okay. Hmm. And I'm just... Uh, da, 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 da. So it's got no actor's name to it yet. Um... No. I don't, if it does, it's not in the article that I'm and looking I mean, at. Here's the whole like synopsis, I guess, that they're going for. Uh, after splitting with the Joker, Harley Quinn and three other female superheroes, Black Canary, Huntress, and Renee Montoya come together to save the life of a little girl, Cassandra Cain, from an evil crime lord. So... Sionis has abducted her or something, I'm guessing. They yep. see this. They got to go after her. So, I mean, just by looking at this, Harley Quinn, Black Canary, Huntress, Renee Montoya. So this movie's set in Gotham with the addition yep. of Black Canary. So I'm okay with this. Like, But the whole thing is, it doesn't seem as a birds of prey. <laughs> like, if that makes sense. Like, no, Renee Montoya, no, yeah. all right. I guess, sure. I'd say it's like, you could be like, well, she's a bird. Like, she's yeah. not actually a bird. Yeah, everything's named after birds, but... Mm -hmm. eh. I don't know. I, I don't know much about Birds of Prey, but it doesn't sound like anything that I... I, I know the terrible you know. TV show and some of the, like, <laughs> connective tissue, like, issues they've been in, like, the connective tissue between major arcs, but that's about it, so... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I just hope it's good. Like, but it... Warner Brothers are doing what I fear Marvel and Sony would do, and that's like we have a, a universe, but it's all centered around this one thing. Like, yeah. you know, this kind of Batman-y still. And... Everything is in Gotham. Everything yeah. is in Gotham. Which just so happens to be across the river from Metropolis, so... Uh, <laughs> that's... Literally less than three miles away. Yeah. Mm. Doomsday literally <laughs> hopped from one to the other, so yeah. there you go. Yeah. It was a wonder why Superman or Supergirl didn't like just come over to Gotham. <laughs> They'll have to deal with that Supergirl movie. Uh oh, crap. Oh god. Which we talked about on other po topics. Go check that out, people. There's a. Well, it shouldn't one. be like no Supergirl wasn't that pod. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. I couldn't. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Birds of Prey. I hope it's good. I like Black Mask. Gets me excited. Some of the other additions get me excited, but. Here's my fear. Here's my feeling. Black Mask is going to be the villain, quote unquote. They're going to reveal Leto's been pulling the strings and he's the ultimate villain. Oh, please no. Come on, you please know what's no. happening. He's got a three no. movie contract. I got to burn through that. Uh... <laughs> he's going to show up doing the lickety face thing he did in Suicide Squad and be like, oh, no. Watch me acting my hand over my face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, anything else we got to add to this topic? No, no, you, you kind of ruined it now. <laughs> <laughs> it is dead. Bury it. Uh, yep. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Things have uh, escalated real quick in the two weeks now that James Gunn has been uh, fired. Um, Dave Bautista, the actor behind Drax, threatening if they don't use the script James Gunn wrote, he's walking away. Other actors are on his support. Um... And now we're hearing that Disney, because they officially didn't have a date set for Guardians 3, because it was those yep. mystery dates, 
we're hearing that they're possibly willing to just entirely scrap the script, start over, and delay the movie if they have to. Kind of like they did Thor Ragnarok to get it right. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> See, I, I didn't... I, w- I wasn't believing this. I thought there's no way i do that. But then people, like, everyone start to pick it up, and it's just like, oh, no. Like, it's going to be true, isn't it? Ah. But um, the, the thing with Batista, like, ev- everyone sensationalizes. Oh, fuck Batista, he's leaving. To- he's threatening to quit. It's like, he hasn't really threatened to quit. You know, he said he'll do what he's legally like, obligated to do. He's If they don't use his script, he'll, like, he'll ask to leave and be released from his contract. If they see, he hasn't said if they say no, then I'm going to do this and that. It's like he's <laughs> really going to do it if they say no, because it's, 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 it's just it's just like it's basically I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to like that I'm going to do it. Exactly. Yeah, you know, he's yeah. not going to like put himself in the legal shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> I think he'll, he'll do what actors have done, which is ask to be released of his contract, which. That's always a possibility. They'll say, okay, we don't have to pay you, but you don't have to act in a movie, and the rest of the, you know, fulfillment doesn't have to happen. Which, he could realistically do that. That can happen. Um, Mm. That's happened before. But the thing with this is, does Dave Bautista want to risk getting on Disney's and now Fox's list of this dude isn't dependable and won't commit to what we sign him on to because of personal reasons? Like, half of it's, Hollywood well, already is going to hate you, you know? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, would he be put on the list if he, even if he still does it? I honestly think he would. Uh, yeah, you know, like, he's, he's still technically do, doing it. Uh, he's I not mean, walked out yet, but I like, understand the, they might. Like, a lot of the other movies he's doing, they're, like, direct-to-DVD, like, kickboxer. So, he's not really a big name yet. Like, yeah, he has the Marvel movies to his name, but he doesn't have his own franchise or anything, so he's not really a biggish name that i mean if chris pratt says he's leaving they're gonna accommodate chris pratt dave batista is not a chris pratt he's not a leading man of a franchise you know like he's a supporting character of this franchise so but see i i don't know if it's just me i don't say think he's a supporting in like you know i think they're all equal like sure pratt's the bigger name but yeah. in terms of the movie wise i think you know it's an ensemble cast mm-hmm. it, you don't really have a lead and supporting uh yes he, he's kind of like taking a back seat to an extent but yeah. you know he's kind of not been integral but he's played his parts yeah in the whole like, story of it but... and it was also teased before that guardians 3 was going to have a substantial focus on rocket and drax's you know, development because the other mm. characters got in the other movie, so this was like going to be their time to shine. And like, you know, Sean Gunn does all the mocap for Rocket, so that's going to be a little weird. Drax, if he leaves, you know, I can understand if he was going to have a bigger part in Guardians Three, and suddenly they don't want to use that, I could see why he'd be mad. You know, it's like, well, that was supposed mm. to be my big part. But then that kind of changes the narrative, doesn't it? That yeah. Because it's like he's not doing it for Gunn, he's doing it for himself. But... Right, yeah. <laughs> well, let's be um, real, Hollywood, a lot of people there are out for themselves too, so... Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um... I, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a weird situation, because I've heard that they've met with people. Yeah, oh yeah. Or that they've at least offered it to someone. Yep. Um, no doubt you probably heard it from the same person I did. But, um... I, I don't know. The, the, you know, if that is true and if that's right, then I don't know how much the script would change if at all. Mm-hmm. But like, how how easily can they delay this movie? Because it was supposed to start shooting in January, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, they so, should like, be doing like location scouting and stuff in the next couple months. Like probably by September, yeah. they would have been doing that and finalizing the script. So. <laughs> So, like, surely they got a ton of stuff in place, like, everything's booked for this, that that slot's booked, this slot's booked. No, you can't really fast-track anything else. Mm -hmm. Like, what else, you know, what, maybe you could fast-track Doctor Strange 2. Maybe that's why um, Derrickson tweeted out that thing for September. That's honestly what made me think um, why that was a thing. Because I think... Mm -hmm. I think Doctor Strange 2 was going to happen later on anyway, because someone I talked to, they said some interesting stuff just about location scouting and stuff, and I was like, oh, okay, that's supposed to kind of, like, line up with something else, and I was like, that's got to be Doctor Strange 2, but now hearing, like, that September tease, I honestly think that's what they're Mm. pushing now. They're just going to 
substitute it and take a little extra time, like they did on Ant-Man 2, like they did with, you know, like uh, Thor Ragnarok. Take a little extra time to get it right just because of what's going on, which I'm okay with. You can you take an extra year, get it right, work out the details with all the actors, make everybody happy, but I, I don't think a lot of them will be happy until James Gunn is back, and yeah. I don't think they bring him back. So I will say there's, like... You know, we went over it last time. As much as I think they were wrong... Oh, yeah. For, ...for not only getting rid of him and how quickly they got rid of him, you know, they've said they've severed their working ties with Gunn. He's gone. Yep. But that's the interesting part. They've severed his working... Like, the entire working tie with him. So, does that mean his script as well? I, or can like, you, like, get someone else to... Like I said before, I was told that they want to scrap his name off of it, so... That means mm. an entirely new script, a new direction. It can't resemble his because then you could be like, hey, 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 that's mine. Like you put my name on it, right? So yeah. that would turn out real bad. It's oh, it's such a weird situation because mm. from now on, no matter, even if Guardians 3 is the best one so far. It's got to stink around it's it. It's got to stink around it and people will always, we know mm -hmm. those people, we know the SJs of this world. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna be advocating for freaking James Gunn no matter what. Like, yeah, no matter yeah. how good Edgar yeah. Wright's movie might have been or terrible, they're yeah. not willing to give the Ant Man movies a chance because they're like, well, Edgar Wright's would have been better because yep. Edgar Wright. It's like, come on, like, uh, it's terrible. But then, like, the, the, my question is like, I, I kind of, I asked this on Twitter. Or I said on Twitter, and I kind of like maybe cool down slightly now. But if he goes, if if they go, no, we're not using his script. We can't. It's bad PR. Blah 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 blah. Yes, we'll release you from your contract. You haven't got to do. It. We'll find someone else who will. Um, <laughs> what does the rest of the cast do? Because they're not going to stick for that, surely. And obviously, they signed on for a specific movie with a specific, you know, knowledge and stuff. Yeah. And if things are changing, there could be those things in contracts. Which I assume, it's a breach. Oh, right. Yeah. I assume Disney's going to have something in there because remember, um, for Ant Man, when Edgar Wright walked away. A few actors did too, such as uh, Patrick Wilson. He walked yep, away too. Yep. He was like, um, this isn't in the contract. I'm walking away. So there is a possibility that's in there, and they might have to risk that. Which Can you imagine if three or four of the main stars suddenly go, so, um, okay, well, look at the contract, and other actors have done mm. in other movies. We're walking too. That's oof, That would be terrible. Because like, cause then, you you know, like even the film could be as good as it could ever possibly be. Mm -hmm. Who's going to care? Yeah. If the actors that you like been with since what 2014, yep. you know you've been through Guardians, Guardians 2, Avengers: Infinity War, and Avengers 4, you're not going to care about them anymore because they're not the same characters. Yep. Yep. You know, you, 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 at this point in the franchise's timeline, it's you can't just replace people, I'm... and people are acting like it's no different to replacing um, Edward Norton or. Um, Terrence Howard. And it's like it's vastly different. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, like they had one movie. One movie. Yeah. Uh, there's a difference between one movie and five. And the difference here is this is by far the biggest blow to the MCU they've ever yep. gotten. This is mm -hmm. like the one that when you look back at Marvel in film history, and this this is a thing, believe it or not, like it is taught in film schools now about Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um the a big point of the topic is going to be James Gunn came in, he rebirthed science fiction in modern, mm -hmm. in this decade, and made it relevant again to the point that not even Star Wars can live up to the Guardian's hype. And then he was fired. And yeah. how does that affect everything? Like, it is a big factor of all of this. And it's kind of crazy to mm -hmm. really think about that they're, you know, they're going to stumble no matter what happens it's going to be interesting to i was gonna say is that they're in one of those damned if you do damned if you don't situations which to be honest personally all stems from disney being rash yeah. i understand completely why they've done it they're a family-friendly company you can't be seen having shit like that yeah but at the same time context matters mm -hmm. you know if they had an investigation that lasted a week it would have been different i mean what, what's the dude um uh was it john lester from pixar that was a, uh, you know, he, it was like spousal abuse or something that he did yep, or something. Yep. And they investigated that for like six months till they said we're replacing him in December. So, yep. and guess which current MCU actor was done for domestic abuse? Ooh. 
yep. Josh Brolin. Come on, Thanos. Congratulations. <laughs> you got a good paycheck. Yeah. And we're going to keep like, you on for the rest of the Deadpool franchise. <laughs> like, it's a very, they've set a very strange um, black and white precedent. With yes, this. they have. And it's kind of, I don't think it's a particularly healthy one. Not at all. It's, I, I don't know. It's, it's just crazy. Like, you can understand completely why. I don't agree with it, but... I, this whole situation, and hypothetically, let's just say we're coming into 2021, 2022, right? And Guardians of the Galaxy is releasing a third one. We all know, like, anytime anything happens with these big movies, in the opening paragraph of any review, video review of anything, James Gunn's name will be brought up, and yep. it's going to have this, you know, connotation around it of what could have been and what might have been, which already sets people into this world of different expectations and it's just it's a weird situation and i mean we've talked about it before there's been talk about it on all of our twitters and stuff we've seen it do you think it's feasible they could just cancel the third movie no not at all not at this point no mm. it's, it's a franchise that's made of 1.4 billion dollars in two movies there's no fucking way. and toy sales alone have, exactly ooh, yeah exactly like there's I mean, no <laughs> i mean this, this ain't no amazing too yeah no. Nice. No, this. If they do, I'll be surprised. No. I think the most you're gonna get is it's gonna be have a surprising place at the back of phase four. So, oh look, it's closer to the end of that phase. Like, let's just let the wind. But even then, by the time this, if it comes out in 2020, I, it probably would have died down a lot by then. I think people's emotions would be a bit flatter. But you know, you still get the questions and everything about it. But right, yeah. I don't know. There's not much you can really do to avoid it. You just like, have to ride it out. Unless you go look, no questions about this on the press tour. Yeah. Which, but, <laughs> you know. Say, can you really do that? They're going like, to do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. And say, you'll then get the stories like, oh, Marvel's censoring this. No, 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 no. You just create another shitstorm for yourself. But mm -hmm. I, I think... I'd love to know what Feige's viewpoint is. I'd love to know. Because uh, apparently, that man I mean... Is quiet. Have you seen those reports and everything that came out? I'm saying, I mean, I've seen the rumors that he didn't know. Yeah, which, uh, you know, how fast everything moved. There's no oh, way they could have even consulted him. Like, it was very much drop the hammer in less than 10 hours. So, ugh, what a weird situation to be in. So, you know, all they had to do was just take a week. Yep. Just take all you needed. But, yeah. A... You know, like it's like even the subject matter. Like, yes, I know people like find that disgusting. Yes, it is disgusting. Look at Jim Jeffries. I know it's different companies. The dude made the pedophile joke in his video about this. Yeah. No one said a fucking word. Yep, nope. like, like, what is the line with all this stuff? Mm -hmm. but... I mean, because like, like I think like what we were talking about, like on Twitter, or asking people is that when comedians do stuff like that, no one really takes it seriously. Yeah, but then is being a bad comedian? A fireball offense, right? Because <laughs> that's what he's really guilty of. Like everyone mm -hmm. being, oh, he's a pedophile. It's like, shut the fuck up. He's not a pedophile. Uh, like, let's be real. Honestly, I'm waiting for the Warner Brothers strike back to them to be like, hey, we hired James yeah. Gunn to produce this movie for us and direct it. It's gonna be like, yeah. oh, oh. because like, a lot of studios have said they're in like Gunn's side. Yeah, like they're in like on not like, taking his stance. But yep, you know, it's. It's not something that's going to go away anytime soon. Not at this all. This is going to carry on going on for a while. Yeah. I mean, uh, just 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 to address the chat quickly, it's not on the same level. It's the same subject matter. Yeah. Like, are you, can you re if you're going to draw the line at pedophile jokes, can you really go, this pedophile joke's fine, this one isn't? Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've had some people tell me, oh, if it's aimed at yourself, it's weird. If it's aimed at someone else, it's fine. Like Michael Jackson pedophile jokes. It's like, but is it? Like, why? I mean, it's kind of not. <laughs> well, I mean, just... just, okay, let's put this one out there. With Disney acquiring all these Fox assets and stuff, right? And they're going to be having all these shows on streaming platforms and syndication that they own. I can find you some really messed up stuff that they're going to be acquiring. Like, so, yeah, yeah. what are they going to do? Yeah. Cut all that out? No. <laughs> Say, don't they get Family Guy? Yeah. Doesn't a Family Guy have Herbert the Pervert in it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have this some really, strange. really bad, like bad tasting jokes yeah. for their cutaways. Not that you'll ever see that on a Disney thing, which yeah, I understand, you know. Yeah. But 
Right. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a weird thing, you know. It's people don't want to admit it. It's had its place in comedy for decades, just like racism's had its, or it's like stereotypical racism. Yep. It's had its place in comedy for decades. Like it's been there. It's not. It's never going to go away. Right. Is it a fireball offence? That's. It's not for me to decide, really, but... Right. It's like, what's the, also the context of it, and when is it being said? Like, if James Gunn came out the day he those tweets were discovered and was tweeting all those things, then that's yeah. automatically, yeah. fire this dude, I want nothing to do with him. But, yeah. you know, it's... Come on. <laughs> and they clearly knew. You don't hire a guy from Troma and you don't know that crap. Well, the fact he apologized for it, all those, you know... I was gonna say he like when they hired him, he had like the whole trans like transphobic stuff on his blog. He apologized yeah. for that. He didn't fire him there and then, did they? Yeah. Like, I, and I, I get like they come out and said like in the Me Too era, it's completely unacceptable. And I suppose that's probably the defining, um, that's what I'm looking for, characteristic context. Like, that's the defining mm-hmm. context for everything. So, I, I get it. I, I just, I don't know. It, it's kind of is it too far? We're in that weird time, but yeah. The world's changing. Gotta change with it, boys. Yeah. We'll find out who replaces him if they're going to keep the script soon enough, I imagine. Yeah. They say they're in no rush. I don't believe that at all. Yeah. <laughs> they want this fixed. Yeah, yeah. According to rumors, Marvel Studios will be at New York Comic Con. Like, mm-hmm. not just for the Netflix stuff. So if that's true, I'm expecting some sort of announcement to be made there. That, that'd be my that's assumption. Suck. Yep. Yeah. I... I... I hope, Fog, you don't have social anxiety. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> give that man a bag. No, he'd be vomiting. Huh. So, uh, that brings us to the end of the normal CBC podcast. So, like I said, four topics, but we knew one of these was going to go longer and a few were going to go mm-hmm. shorter because of the nature of Sony being stupid. So there you go. Yeah. And hopefully there's actual news next week so I haven't got to talk about Gun again because like, I don't really like talking about it, but you have to. You have to this. because it's so... part of what we're talking about. You know, it's mm. like... It's so ingrained in the comic culture now. Yeah. It's like it's the biggest bit in news. It is. You can't you can't ignore it. There's no way around it. But you know, luckily Joe's asleep, so he found a way around it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. So um, yeah, thank you for joining us for the podcast, everybody. And we'll of course be back uh, next week.